Leinster Schools Senior Cup quarterfinal number three in the two previous games this week have been absolute crackers. We are hopeful that today's will be an entertaining contest too. Quick check on the two teams before we get going. The Cistercian College, Ross Cray starting 15 and indeed that wider matchday squad of 23 unchanged from their remarkable comeback win over Newbridge College in round one here three weeks ago. The Tipperary side were 22-0 down after just 18 minutes of the first half. Two tries, though, from Dan Punch and one from number eight, Evan Brophy, turned the tie on its head in the second half. The centre pairing, Jack Deegan and Robert Carney, featured heavily in that round one defeat to Black Rock last year. Billy Hayes captains the side from the back row on the open side flank. Joe Finn, a powerful presence in the Ross Cray second row where he's partnered by Connor Carney. Josh Powell came off the bench against Black Rock in the first year, first round clash between these two last year. The fly half who plays for Ross Cray's hurlers uh, actually won a Leinster School's title against College to Aina on Tuesday. Black Rock team, well, four of the Black Rock College starting 15 started last year's Senior Cup final defeat to Gonzaga at the RDS on St. Patrick's weekend, including this year's captain Jack Angelo at number eight. Conor O'Shaughnessy at fly half is central to Rock's hopes of a 71st title this year. If this physical abrasive forward pack can provide him and Albert Linder with some quick ball, then Rock have the par fire power through the likes of Mark Walsh, Jerry Maloney and their two wingers to make it a very tough and long afternoon potentially for this Ross Cray side. Charlie Maloney, a Leinster and Ireland representative, is a prodigious talent at fullback. Donegal Maguire has captained the Ireland under-18 school side and Black Rock have an abundance of ball-carrying options from one through eight in a big, strong forward pack that I mentioned. Black Rock a little bit late to go into the dressing rooms, keeping Ross Cray waiting. Ross Cray, Cray subs are out, hitting tackle bags down beneath us. So we get a shot of Stephen Carney, who's uh, enjoying his first year as head coach at this blustery, buffeting breeze around Dublin Four Captain and Donnybrook this afternoon. Good to go. Reese tends to be blowing Clear from on. left to right as you look, and it seems to be in the now, face. Okay. All blue players behind. Shocklessly, who will get us underway. The Black Rock College fly half and Brian O'Flaherty and Johnny O'Sullivan all set to go. Quick ball chased down this side with Derry Maloney and Charlie Maloney as well. And important that Ross Cray can exit Use it. and settle in here. Just calm the nerves, get a good team possession, perhaps even a touch find. Straight down the middle they go. O'Flaherty picks it up and they've got so much pace in this back three. Explosive. Game breaking runners I'm from deep love to counter attack when the opportunity is there and they put it through the hands on halfway for the first time. Quick possession from Linder looks to get his side moving over on that far side and they did have numbers to the right hand side that's been turned over and picked off and now Ross Gray with a chance to settle into the game. Taken up by Evan Brophy. No. As I mentioned, a try in that comeback against Newbridge in round one for the Ross Cray number eight. Big tackle goes in from the captain Angelo straight into the business end back, of things and that physicality in. that we expect from both sides in the opening 60 seconds here. Yeah, Almost. pretty piece of defence from Harry Finley to Ross Cray left wing. Just when Black Rock looked like they had numbers, he got in the passing channel and had a big interception. Now he's going to have to make a tackle. Derry Maloney. Comfortable little step off. Both feet, change of direction, gliding across the grass and ticked on by Lindner again. No shock to see now at the back. And there's offside. nice depth about this penalty advantage coming, so they'll roll the dice here. No shock to see has to pick it up off his boot misses and we'll go back for the penalty. 13 going early. Yeah, and just Robert the there. He just jumped the gun a little bit, got up in front. Trying to get some line speed, trying to shut down that black rock attack, Number which 13. has looked dangerous already, but yeah. He just got a yard or two Post in front. Goals. Gives a shot to see a chance to open the scoring. Difficult one for a shot to see to pick up, but they had the advantage all the while. That's your mark. Some big wins for. Blackrock en route to that final against Gonzaga last year, notably in the early rounds against Prez Bray and then Ross Cray, a very one-sided game. <clears throat> the 
Ball still oscillating on the kicking tee, even with uh, the helping hand. It's a blustery afternoon, nothing easy. He makes that look pretty straightforward, though. First points of the afternoon inside three minutes. Yeah, he's an excellent goal kicker and just settles everyone down. Even though Blackrock will fancy chances here, they'll be quite nervous about this game. Every every game he's playing the cup is a, is, is a risky matter, and you didn't see what Ross Gray did against Newbridge, and certainly have the respect and showed up with taking the, the three points on offer there. You set a mark of respect to the opposition and just build a score. Inside, all in front ways. Scoreboard ticking. I said it to Justin Vanstone pre game in terms of watching the quality of the opposition in the opening two rounds. And he said, Look, I see bits of it, I don't watch too much of it. We're focusing very much on what we have to do. Yeah, absolutely. Look at they, they played some of the best rugby in the cup last year, but in the final, came up against a Gonzaga team who refused to go away. And that, that defeat will, will certainly stick with them, and they'll be looking for revenge this year. Almost turned over, but it's back on the Ross Gray side and it's taken on by Henry Moore, the tight head prop. Showing a good turn of pace from a standing start, having taken that ball above his head. Owen knocked and the hooker into contact. Blackrock win the penalty. Yeah, it's a good turnover there from Blackrock tight head, Niall Smith. Really nice footwork in, on the carry from Owen Nocton, but just Ross Gray are going to have to get support there quickly. Just the physicality of these Blackrock forwards, they're going to be able to hang in the contact area, so you've got to get there before them. Make sure you clean it out because if they get latched onto that ball, it's going to be impossible to get them off. I do. Niall Smith there with the turnover, just the latest in a, what seems like a, a year on year line of superb tight heads. You think back to Alex Mullen last year was a destructive ball carrier. Now O'Shaughnessy, lots of targets, lots of angles. Angelo takes it on the captain himself and Lindner as they set up again. Look for that flat pass to the line to Mark Walsh. Ross Cray have it back. Robert Carney. Into play, scrum half was Jack Deegan. I most take a step. First choice goal Carried kicker back. for Ross Cray this afternoon. Kicked a couple of penalties on conversions in round Advantage one against over. Newbridge. Again, they keep the ball on the park. And again, Black Rock running back. And again, it's that man, Bono Flaherty. Lindner. Three to the right hand side. Strong tackle going in that time on Derry Maloney. Pollard takes it on. Not hells. Long body position presents it back comfortably well for Linder as scrum half. And they want to play it off the floor, just knocked forward by Walsh in the end. Yeah, it's good sticky defense by, by Ross Gray. In fairness, they're losing the odd collision, they're getting bounced, but they're not, not panicking and they're, they're staying in the fight in the tackle area. Just there, just Here's do enough to disrupt that offload from the ground. We get a turnover. They've been a little bit lucky that both times they try to kick, they've been outside of 22, and you, you fear for them as the game goes on, kicking the ball long to Charlie Maloney, Johnny O'Sullivan, and Brian O'Flaherty because they will punish you. But so far, so good. Their, their kick chase has been really, really intact, uh, well intact and cohesive. Sit! Too early from Blackrock, clearly. Sam Holt, by the way, is away. the match referee today. Just over here. Marks over here. Scrum again. Scrum calls. So they're going to set again. So I need you to control your waist. Okay. Take any reasonable pressure yeah. coming through. Ross Gray at half. Josh Powell is a, is a left footer, so obviously feel better chance of manipulating the backfield from taking the scrum out and putting it there. A Gary Owen on a free Set kick. And hold. Hold the push. Hold. Hold. And so here they go. Powell gets his team moving on to Carney. Use it. Billy Hayes, now the captain, wearing number seven. Use it, Black. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, Maloney. 12, stop. Needs Good to be now. careful and measured with those kicks. Nothing easy in this blustery condition. Down those tram lines, could carry back by Charlie Maloney. Super talented athlete. Broken field runner. No surprise to see him picked up by Leinster in Ireland. And play on. Big, big future. Now that's OK. It's live to play for Angelo again. Back off Jack Pollard. Again, there's that tenacity around the contact and the tackle. Wait now. 
options out the back now for Blackrock. Can they get hands free again? They're being met solidly on the gain line. One or two That's players a turn over. It's Fionn Hogan, is it in no, there? Billy Hayes, Captain. Billy Hayes, yeah. They want to go quickly. They Advantage. need tempo and pace. Trying to use the momentum now. They need support. Good hands. Brilliant pickup by Connor Carney. Good tackle in by Angelo. You can see that's going to be their bread and butter. Number three. Yeah, they got to get after the, after the break then. And no better man than Billy Hayes, the captain. He gets in there. But then I like the way they play quickly then after. I just see here, just big hit. And he gets in over that ball and he, he strips it away. And from here, they have the, the opportunity, the penalty advantage. And they sure. go quickly. And he's got to take Blackhawk out of the rhythm. It's, it's a big kick. The, the surprise they're going to go for a distance here. But... A lot of talented Gaelic footballers and kickers of the ball in their group, obviously. And it's a long, long way out. As we said, what considerable breeze there is, albeit not blowing straight down the pitch by any means at Energy Park. It is favouring Cistercian College in this first half. Jack Deegan kicked a couple of penalties on two conversions, as I said, against Newbridge. Good technique, it's just drifting to the left slightly. 22. The breeze is heading down diagonally into that far corner, I think, and that maybe just uh, made the difference. Yeah, but he's well with well, his right to have a shot from there. He Blue definitely has the behind. distance. And it's really and important for, him, for Ross Gray just to get on the scoreboard, just build a little bit of confidence, and more important than that, just put a little bit of doubt in Black Rock's mind. Harry Finlay. On that left wing no, for Ross no. Gray this afternoon. Here once again is Aaron Maloney. Ball is there. They switch up at first receiver as Corney goes in there and taken on Leaving forward again by Evan Brophy. Sloppy ball for Maloney, just had to readjust himself, and this time it's Black Rock's turn to get up in the faces of the Cistercian College players. Good line Use speed it. in defence, Michael Walsh. Leading the charge there again. Flat. Short line straight through the middle. Changing the point of attack and changing the picture. And coming on to the ball from deep at pace. Two Black Rock players over. That's going to bring a turnover. Yes, you can see Ross oh, Grader. Go. They're gone. Let him go. Black Rock are gone. Mark Walsh is away, That's having fine. won that turnover penalty. Now he needs support. Joe Finn is in there for Ross Cray. Real That's battle fine. and a wrestle forward on counter rock. And they picked it up. That's okay. Turnover one way, then the next. Mark Walsh just didn't have enough support running off his shoulder. It's Joe Finn who takes it on for Ross Gray. No Lively way. opening now, 10 boy. minutes Blue. of the game. Just that one penalty from Conor O'Shaughnessy to speak about. Tight pass from Jack Deegan. Half blocked down. One second. It's a Ross Gray penalty. Yeah, and they found they found numbers there. Shots he came so in, he had to stop ball. Was a deliberate knock on. Okay. Was there a potential clear opportunity for a line break? Yes, two attackers and one defender. Okay, so I'm going to go yellow card. Number 10. There might be a sanction here. Deliberate knock on, clear attacking opportunity prevented. Well, it's a sin bidding for Conor O'Shock. You see, that's deemed a, a deliberate knock on and stopping a line Marks break. Here. Yeah, and you can see Ross Gray had a couple of men over. Number 10. Would have been away down the left hand side. but that possession from Ross Gray came from a brilliant counter rook after a quick tap from, from Mark Walsh. Just the ball here's from Marcus. Blackrock couldn't get the support there quick enough in France Ross Gray. They, they need to make that break down a mess, and so far they have. As I said to you just pre prior to kickoff, in terms of managing those nerves, the, the opening five, ten minutes absolutely crucial. They've done more than that. No, they've done more than that. They've, they've unsettled Blackrock. They've you know, got some decent possession, got some turnovers, whether at the breakdown or, or getting into that passing cha channel. And oh, they'll be really happy. Their coach would be really happy because my memory last year was they just first 10 minutes they they got no foothold in the game and it became one way traffic. So they've they've okay. certainly matched them well time so on. far. Although they like to have a little bit more territory. Time on, let's go. Because if you spend if you spend another 10 minutes in your own half, 
You'd imagine Blackhawk will find a way through. Thirty-five points to seven. Remember Blackrock in the first round against the high school at Ollie Campbell Park. They were out of sight after ten or eleven minutes, having scored three converted tries. This is the knock-on again that's brought the sanction. Sinbin in for Conor O'Shock. They're seeing numbers outside. Yeah, it's really nice. Jack Deegan just playing at the back of a, a forward pot of three, and O'Shock he felt he, he was short and he had to come in and try and get man and ball, but didn't manage to to do it. And takes seven minutes in the bin. And they go short to the front to Joe Finn after some variation off Owen Nocton's throw. Again, it's enterprising stuff from Ross Craig. Away now, Blue! By no means overawed by the occasion there, using the top six inches as well, thinking their way into this game. Leave it, Blue! Perhaps a little unfortunate with that missed penalty not to be on level terms. Coming forward now again with purpose from Joe Finney, the big game in the second half against Newbridge three weeks ago. And he's to the four here already. The Black Rock oh. captain is over that. He doesn't have rights on it. And this is a this penalty. Here, yeah, that's really, really smart play from Ross Gray. Faster. Little trick play at the front of the line out, taking no risk. And then from there, just around the corner, yeah. one out runners. But when Post you have calls. people like Joe Finn who are able to punch holes, even against a, a, a physically bigger Post Black Rock defence, you're going to get on the front foot. And eventually, Black Rock infringe at the breakdown. You'll see it here. This is the end. Just this one here is the second carry off. Big carry for Joe Finn. Yeah, please. And there, tackle doesn't roll away immediately. Cheers. Fionn Hogan, the loose head prop, likes to get his hands on the ball as well. He really explodes the ball carrier. They've worked hard for the opportunity. That's a really, really good strike. He's got a massive boot on him with the wind or without the wind. Brilliant strike, three points apiece. A knock back ten. We've got the knock rolling there and we had deliberate knock on. I need to see a change of behaviour now, okay? Not now, not now, not now. Match referee just having a, a chat with Jack Ang Angelo just around discipline. Obviously, a yellow card already, penalty in front of the post there. I'm just saying they need to clean things up a little bit. Timing. No shock to see in the sin bin, so Mark Walsh takes the restart right inside. to the edge of the Ross Gray. He's inside. 22, and from inside, touch fine, just shy of halfway. Yeah, that's a perfect exit for Ross Gray. Obviously, just haven't scored. You don't want to mess around, give Blackrock a chance right. to get after you to break down. And the number nine, real classy player, Aaron Maloney, just takes responsibility for himself and gets a good touch on the 10-year line. It's been a very mature and composed opening 15 minutes for Ross Gray, given the occasion, the opposition, the pedigree of their opponents. They've managed the game particularly well. And still with that tenacity and aggression in the tackle and around the contact area now. Lindner looks to the short side to try and bring in Brian O'Flaherty. Again, he's set upon. Quick tackle, 14. but this time it's a Black 14. Rock penalty. Yeah, a lovely play yeah. in fairness. Really good line out drill, built 14. them all. Always upright. Really well, but in fairness, Ross Gray eventually stopped it. And Marcus here. Linder, he shaped like he was going to box kick. And when he did that, Harry Finney dropped back. Or sorry, That's Harry Finney. Dan Punch dropped back. Just for a second, it looked like there was an opportunity. What, what are we doing? And Black Rock okay. changed tactic and kept the ball okay. in hand. Yeah, 14 above the sternum. It's a good kick by Mark Walsh, yeah. tight angle. Just getting another look at it there. Just up far, he just goes against the grain. There's no malice in it, but just slightly high. So Jack Pollard, prime position. It's a good delivery, a good take, but the referee spotted an infringement in there. It's yeah, Blue, just lifters in front. Actually, both lifters got in front there, according to the referee, so double banking, not giving Ross Gray a chance to hit the ball with, the, with their mall defence. A real escape for, for Ross Gray, because Black Rock will be used to turn those positions into points. 
And once Almost again, having foot. survived, yeah. they've cleared their lines exceptionally the well and find themselves well outside their 22 and an opportunity to secure possession again on Nocton. All the way towards the tail, a lot of hang time on that. Joe Finn did well to readjust and stay in the air. Get his hands on it, and now a scrum half. Tackle. Aaron Maloney is in a world of problems. Forced back by two or three big Black Rock forwards. Away come Ross Gray again, and they've had a couple of looks from deep. Will they go again? That little pod in behind, it's smart, it's fluid and fluent, and Robert Carney sets away to... No, he's dropping. Ralph Donnelly. By most. Use it! No, they shaped a kick again with Maloney. Use your feet, They're use your feet. Testing this Black Rock defence. Good variety about their game. Maloney now. It's a Flaherty rather, and again he breaks the first and tackle. The first instinct, time and again from deep inside his own half, is to take on the opposition. But look Tack at that away. commitment to the tackle. Two man tackle. I think it's Miller and Carney in there again, and that didn't Take go to advantage. hand for Linder. With Throw the advantage, and there's something on here for Newbridge now. Henry Marr has put the ground in the nick of time. No advantage coming. Back it's the just developing on. into a really good game now. It's super fast. Yeah, and you can see Ross Gray, they realise any turnover ball, they have to have a look, and very close to getting away down the right-hand side there. It was very unfortunate a pass to okay. Henry well, Marr, just I, a little bit high, and he has to lift. take him a second to catch. Strong. You see here, Butler, the former Dublin Sorry. Hurling minor, gets through, but when he tries to link with his... He's coming half Albert Lindner, just doesn't go to hand. Sorry? But again, we, we saw the previous go. phase, Ross Gray trying to get... To the outside, obviously they understand that Connor Shotlessy isn't in that back line, he's in the, he's in the bin, so they have an opportunity to get a little wider maybe than they have played so far. Took a big tackle from the seven, Jack O'Neill to towards what looked like a promising attack for Ross Gray. Set! Hold the push now. And they do hold the shove and they work that short side again, it's brilliant hands to create the opportunity Carry lovely from Jack Deegan. This time it is Charlie Maloney. He's not just pacey and skillfully strong as well. Don't hold him in. Linder into the hands of Niall Smith. Advantage. From the tight head to the scrum half, and then it's been knocked on by Linder. Opportunity again for Ross Cray with that knock on advantage only. Up on halfway, options left and right. Advantage over. Big tackle this time on Henry Moore. The collisions uh, Ball is there. really, really good. Two physical teams going Release. full throttle. Ralph Donnelly that time almost caught in possession by Brian O'Flaherty. Good clear out to ensure that Ross Gray kept a hold of possession. That line speed again. Donovan Maguire in the second no, row up not. quickly for Rock. S, S, S. Having to work a little bit harder here to find a an Use exit it. from their own half, Ross Gray, and change of tactic now. Make sure you're played on, hold, and you're on now. Off they go and chase, high hanging kick, well watched. Chase led by Jack Deegan, but again, Maloney showing his strength. Yeah, great come from Jack Deegan, though. Scrambling really hard, making up for the first missed tackle. Connor Corney there with a the big tackle on. Dunnock and McGuire, and away they go, lovely step. Off his left foot by Otter Linder, the scrum half, off and the support feet. arrived. Ross Cray off their feet. Can't play it now. Mark Walsh gets them moving over into that bright sunshine on the far side. The bounce of the ball beats Black Rock. Yeah, well, that's the first time that Black Rock have actually got the offload to the stick. And Connor Shops, he's back on the field now, so it's back to 15 all. Wow, Ross Cray showing such hard in defence, you know. They're working so hard for each other, and Time off. it's a brilliant breakdown work on their own ball by Evan Brophy, the number eight. Just holding Mark, yeah. At this stage of the game, three weeks ago against Newbridge, they were 22 points to nil down. I didn't catch you there, James. Oh, so, Niall Smith on the Black Rock side being attended to, that's Jack Deegan, wearing 12 for Ross Gray. Back to 15 aside. Some huge collisions out there. Oh, good. 
was lovely play from Ross Gray off the previous scrum. Really short, narrow side. Most teams would go open, but they just went down the blind side with Jack I, Deegan. He got his hands free to I have the up little winger, Harry gone. Finley. And he's just unlucky, his kick just doesn't get over the head of, of Charlie Maloney in the, in the backfield. They're mixing it up really yep. well, Ross Gray. Real variety in how they're trying to play and very smart tactically set up well by their coaches to give them a chance of not trying to meet Blackrock head on because I think if you try and meet Blackrock head on if you're Ross Gray it's, it's going to be very very difficult to get any gains but they've certainly shook them up a little bit yeah, absolutely yeah no matter awareness when Conor O'Shaughnessy was off to have a go from deep because they know this afternoon they'll probably have to score a couple of tries to beat this Blackrock side it's just the, the little yeah, Half line break and offload. And this is where Blackrock are very strong. Just the support runners, like Jack Ang Angelo, coming onto that ball of pace. And probably here, in hindsight, they probably would have kept it, want to keep it in the hand. It's, it's Maloney. But he doesn't have a winger out there. It's, it's Jack O'Neill is holding with. And in fairness, the Ross Gray winger was also in a good place. Harry Finney to cover both the run and kick option. Lockton goes for and finds his jumper, Joe Finn. Advantage. Yeah, a good invention again by Ross Gray. It doesn't come to anything. Knock, knock on. on, but great pass off the off the line from Aaron Maloney. And then just trying to stretch Black Rock around the centre position. But good lines are running. Here's our mark. From their point of view, the this point it doesn't go to hand. Lovely delivery off the top from Joe Finn. You see here a little ball at the back and then the short line, short runner. He's just trying to offload there in contact. But good defence by Black Rock. They, Make sure that goes to ground. Crouch. Goes to hand. Bind. Set and hold. Stand up. We spoke pre-game about stability. Hold your own weight. It's stable. Crouch, bind, so done they go again. Prime position from which to strike for Black Rock. They get a free kick. Black fading away. Not might taking have liked this. to have seen what was going to be Black fading away. coming in terms Strum of, again. yeah, they might just go again. Strum so goals. maybe we'll get a look at a, a strike play here. I need you to take the waist, okay? Don't fade away like that. Paddy Moore against Henry Moore, closest to camera. Crouch! Black Rock, loose head. Niall Smith on the other side against Phil Hogan, who's shown up well in terms of his ability to carry. Keep it up. Straight to the feet of the captain. And eight to nine, flat to the line to Mark Walsh. Put to ground very quickly. Taken on here by Tommy Butler. Over the ball is Donovan Maguire. They recycle again and go to Jack Pollard. Quickly in there again with Joe Finn. And there's another penalty. What a tackle from Billy Hayes there. To lead the turnover and also the centre. Jack Deegan just putting his body in the line. And every minute it goes by, they'll start to believe a little bit more. It's been the by a distance, well, no touch find. And away from deep goes Mark Walsh, and he's made it all the way up to halfway and beyond. By most. Very good player, Walsh. That? He was excellent last year. And you can see there, he just wants to be direct, wants to get his team on the front foot. Linder. Good supply again to no Angelo. Working through the tackle, refuses to. Dive the ball, keeps it alive and keeps it an option for Niall Smith. Breaks a tackle or two, pumps the legs, and now a lot of those big ball carriers get involved for Black Rock. Setting up great field position here, taken to the line. Leaving out Black. It's Butler rough, in there, it. I think. They have to be careful not to concede a penalty. Evan Brophy thought he could turn it over. Advantage. They have pinched it now. Options potentially. Norton. Again, he's got that awareness and ability to step and size up the options. Playing some confident Harry's rugby, back. Ross Cray. Straight down the it's middle of the kick. field. It's a huge kick. 
What kind of kick chase stopped them? Up to halfway and a little bit beyond. That's a good carry from O'Sullivan. Linder now misses out a player or two. In beyond the 15, but again, it's another big turnover, and Brophy gets his hands free. Hogan gets his pass away to the other pace outside with Finlay. Back in field, a little bit of composure now, potentially. Jack Deegan, recycle. Slowed down slightly, brilliant hands again from Nocton to release Joe Finn, and he gets away, pumps those legs. Can they get the support there in time? They reset and go. Owen knocked it again two or three times in this movie. He's been involved in all the way out to Dan Punch. Can he get around the outside? Now he needs support. Strong player. Did well just to get that fend in there and buy himself a second or two for the support. Billy Hayes again. This is brilliant stuff from Cistercian College. Super. Flat it goes from Powell. Good defence from Black Rock. As far as he's gone. That's brilliant a turnover. brilliant turnover. Mark Walsh. It's Mark Walsh again. He's been all around oh, the park. All through the hands. Picked up by Powell. Tap tackle then from Lindner. It's breathless stuff from both teams. Middle of the pitch. It goes to Carney again. Gets his pass away to Miller. Brilliant little deft pass out the back and over the top. Oh, referees picked it up as forward. <laughs> this is game on. Blackrock can't keep the ball for more than two or three phases. Like, They've all the bar, Rick and Ross Gray, really living off this, enjoying it. But they played some great rugby as well, their ability to throw offloads. We saw Joe Finn, when he got running in the midfield there, his power is fend. And again, it's a poor play to get to him, but look like Blackrock going to make a turnover. Mark Walsh gets a turnover, That's brilliant work on the ground, again. and Blackrock give it away straight away Take again. Yes. I think Banstone, the Blackrock coach, will be... Yeah. Furious with his team, the lack of composure. We're looking at his play here, and again, just go for that killer pass, just forward. But he had created a little overlap, and Robert Kearney was away. Yeah, time to uh, take a bit of counsel, a few wise words, and maybe just try and think their way around this game, Black Rock. But look, we know how good Newbridge are. And for Ross Craig to turn in the performance they did in the second half to turn that game around, they swarmed and suffocated a good Newbridge side and scored 27 know, unanswered points. So then. they're showing what they can do. Yeah, absolutely. If you were to play Black Rock today, we would have said it was, you know, a, an open contest. But because Ross Craig haven't had the pedigree in the cup in the last couple of years and haven't obviously won a league for a while, um, we maybe underrated them. But I think they're shown now that that was no fluke. And, the spirit, but also the skill set was shown. Look, look, you still fancy Black Rock to win this. Um, but at the moment, it's been a really good contest, and they're well deserved to be level scores. Some of the link up play on the hands between backs and forwards is uh, incredible. Oh, knocked in the hooker in that last passage of play, just seemed to be everywhere. Quickly off the base, Angelo hurtling away. Brilliant tempo Release about back. the game. Niall Smith now gets to grind. Use it! I most there we are. No, the back. And Flaherty on this side, poised to lead the kick chase. It's more central down the middle. Tricky one to take all the way for Donnelly. Stopped again by Mark Walsh. How often have we mentioned his name in the opening 28 minutes of the game? Three points apiece. It remains. Not held. That's a great carry. It's good there, Evan Brophy, yeah. Use it. Carried back. All in front, wait. All on. Difficult one to take. That's in these swirling conditions. He had to go full length. That was risky. Finley was in, but where's Finley come from? Nice. And where's the space? Over the top from O'Sullivan. Bouncing ball, tricky to cover. Jack Deegan, I think it is across there to help his fullback. Has done brilliantly well. Yeah, that's great cover from Jack Deegan because he looked dangerous. Just that counter attack. I think Black Rock won up. Oh no, penalty. That's just a little microcosm in the game so far. It's so evenly balanced. It's just a real Fair scrap and wrestling match, but at frantic pace all the while. Yeah, and you feel from Martin's a here. Ross Gray point of view, even when they kick the ball along, if, if they allow Maloney catch it on the full, it's going to end up causing them trouble on the, on the counter attack. He's such a dangerous player, but Ross Gray really scrambled incredibly well there. To a man, their, their worker's been sensational. 
Yeah, you know, really good hands. And again, okay. just that's what Blackrock can do. Obviously, get the ball to, to Maloney. Johnny Sullivan puts it on the toe. Kieran, get the nine back right. two meters. Great. Look how quickly the bodies get there then to, to make sure they exit. Good line out. Joe Finn, excellent. Delivery from Nocklin, spot on as well. Just wonder about uh, is there a few points in this wind if it heads into half time with three points apiece. Hands again from He's released Billy Hayes. Again. That's fine. Not held. Everything okay there, says Sam Timing Holton. Timing now. Use it. Carried back. Past the half hour. Oh, stop, stop, Still stop. Mate. 13. 13. Stop. You're on now. Need to keep that kick chase and try and stop Blackrock in their own half if That's at all great possible. It's another brilliant tackle. The two 12s have been so prominent for either That's side. Jack right. Deegan. That's brilliant. Yeah. Just stayed in the defensive line. You see John Sullivan, John Sullivan just running again on the outside. Technique is all wrong there. He gets his head the wrong side, but he just stays in the fight. Brilliant by Deegan. And Blackrock are rattled. Yeah. It is tricky. It's three weeks since their round one game, and with the, the utmost of respect to the high school, I mean, they they won that game by almost 80 points. It was over after 10 or 15 minutes, so they've not had a big hit out. Coming in here against a fired up Ross Cray side. They would have anticipated that, expected that, of course, but. Bind. Sit. Hold. And it goes this time from Aaron Maloney, and away comes that man, Evan Brophy, grits his teeth, drops That's his shoulder, sets up possession again in the centre of the pitch, and options here on that short little flat line, brilliant break, Carney, has he got a step, has he got support, Finlay, can he make it all the way, oh he tried to offload it off the deck, it didn't appear to go forward, still there for Joe Finn, advantage. and again he tries to get it clear. Wow, what a scramble. Wait. Brilliant by Brian O'Flaherty to get back on left winger. Advantage over. I thought it was a knock on, maybe in there. Blackrock survived. But again, Josh Gray's shown the variety in their play. Lovely front door ball here. Breaks through the tackle. Robert Kearney links with his left winger. Harry Finney, look at that scramble tackle. And from here was the ball that was knocked back, to be fair. And Ross Gray again, uh, just trying to keep that ball alive. And it's Joe Finn just in the contact here, here. as he's trying to twist and it goes forward. Blackrock survive, but Ross Gray know they have them rattled and want to get a score four half times they can. They're creating the opportunities, but you've got to take them at this level against this opposition over the course of the 70 minutes. Blackrock get the penalty, but all the invention, all the creativity is coming from Ross Gray. They've shown everything. Yeah, they'll be absolutely good at there. Just that line out, just slightly too high or couldn't be caught. And backing it up with a, a penalty to break down. And now they have to defend for the last couple of minutes before half time. Black Rock in the right area of the field. Good there. On the front man. Small. Comfortable take again. The black block 10. Pollard. There is an advantage indicated by the referee. Opportunity here now for Black Rock in the dying moments of the first half when they've been on the back foot for quite a bit of it. And again, Jack O'Neill involved a couple of times. Lindner pops it away to his tight head, taken on by Niall Smith. Oh, it's loose, it's anywhere. No, it's the gym attempt. This yeah. is not gone. They need one more, just again, you see now. Albert Linder's just playing around the rook. He's not trusting to go wide. They want to just stay on top of Ross Gray. And just there, looked like there was a little hole opened up, but I think it was the, the back row gets in the way and it's knocked on, but he's in, the, in that passing channel, nearly the interception. But they'll do well to hold him out from here. Now. This is a beautiful position, Black Rock, and given the, the speed and power they have in their back line. Or even Jack Angle off the back of the scrum. Crouch. Covers the ground and commits defenders so quickly. Bind. Such a difficult position for Ross Bind Clay up. to find themselves in here. 60 seconds or something like that Wait, to half time. I did say I'd be slow. Wait for them, please. Let's 
go, boys. Sorry? Crouch! Huge potential watershed in the game. Big moments for both these sides. Clock ticks into the red, and away goes that man off the base angle. Oh, the captain makes yards. Linder pops his pass away. Really good burst by Duncan McGuire. And now he's been held up. Oh, he's held him up. He's screaming for more. They're over the line. And either way, it must be held up, surely. It is. They survive. Brilliant defence from Ross Gray. And that's the half. That's unbelievable defence to hold him out there. Great carry from Angelo. For that second phase, they just get underneath Duncan McGuire. And they've done themselves absolutely proud. Well, this place is rocking. We have a game, we have a quarter of final. It's one of the lowest scoring games we've done for quite some time, but it's been absolutely excellent. Make sure you resource the rugby a bit better, and if they do that, you'd imagine they, they'll have enough to win. But certainly, Ross Gray are, have made us a, a real contest, and we'll be looking forward to the next 10 minutes trying to continue what they've done in the first half. Ross Gray, as we've said, turning around into a stiff breeze. Will that be a factor? Carried back, waiting out on front. Interesting to see the oh, approach in the second half with that win from Black Rock. Will they be a tad more pragmatic? Again, it's good footwork. It's ambitious and it's brilliant from Deegan. He really does have the full repertoire. Leave it off your feet. Henry Moore taking the ground. Setting it up again for Maloney and the ever-present Joe Finn. Big presence in this pack of forwards. That's brilliant by Finn because he was isolated there. It was a real turnover opportunity, but he managed to beat two or three Black Rock oh, players and now, just give himself a chance. That's fine. Oh. He's on the ground and he picks it up. Yep. Yeah. You're offside. And that's the kind of silly penalties that, in fairness, Black Rock have given away in the first half as well. This time it's Jack O'Neill. He's just counter rook is really good, but you can't pick up the, the ball from a, a position on the ground. And you're right about Deegan, he looks top quality, really physically, defensively, but just attacking wise well. Just missed touch here, Ferns. Wait now. Good opportunity to play oh, here no. to go right to left. Just getting used to that change in, in win, really. But there is an opportunity to kick it in behind it. It might yet pay dividends. They need to be careful here against the strength of Charlie Maloney. Big hit. Harry Finley put his body on the line. He's quickly back up to his feet. No, leave it. After another big collision. No let up in the pace inside the opening. Couple of minutes of the second half, and away goes Jack O'Neill. Lovely step, good fan. Support needs to get there. Support does arrive. It's there for Lindner. Plenty of numbers for Black Rock to the left hand yeah, side. Miles Smith short. takes it on. All the way out to the side to O'Flaherty. They need to scramble and get across. Leaving 12. They were down numbers, and Black Rock go again. Paddy Moore takes it on. Five metres out. Here they come now, Niall Smith. Tight head prop to three metres out. Lots of big options. Walsh, one of those on the blind side flank. Lindner again, he bets it into Paddy Moore. He reaches short. for the line. Just a foot short. Ominous this for Ross Gray. Line. Black Rock Get poised, back. surely, from close short. range. Release. Just shy of the line. Referee in a good position. They'll go again around the fringes. Brilliant work. Great leg drive, and the power game pays dividends. And Black Rock, within two and a half minutes of the second half, had the first drive of the game. Yeah, and it's Niall nice, Smith, isn't it? He gets it down eventually. And he'd been at the heart of most of the good things Black Rock have done, ball in hand. He had a big carry in the phases leading up to that, which just shortened that defence. And you see here again, brilliant defence from Ross Gray, but eventually the power and size of of Black Rock just pays, and it's this man, now it's made, who just gets underneath that second drive, and a big score for him. Huge moment in the game. Oh, he missed it. The conversion is missed to the left-hand side. It was taken quickly. Skewed to the left-hand side, so... 8-3, it Five remains. and 15 off. A couple of changes already in this second Just half. Perfect some changes.
Okay. Yeah. So away we go. Eight points to three. 39 minutes. Inside. All on. So that is the power game that Blackrock possess. Let's see what that does to the wind in the seals of Ross Cray now. Pass back inside to Brian O'Rourke, who's in off the bench for Ross Cray from Finlay. Ripped clear in the tackle there as Billy Hayes took it on for Ross Cray. That's a couple of little moments Strong that have advantage. gone the way of Black Rock. Confirmation top left of those changes. Sean Clean also in for That's Cistercian College. <clears throat> Timing. Okay, all on. Mark. Ball swirling around as Finley took that, claimed his mark and finds his touch. He's had a great game, hasn't he? The yeah. left winger, Harry Finley's been so busy. He's not the biggest player in the field, but he's certainly yeah. attacking a punch and covering the backfield really well. Been really impressed with Ross Gray, number nine, Aaron Maloney, his pass. He's just getting them, their ball carries out to fifth or sixth defender at times. It's good shake, yeah. Young Harry Finley from this, only a fourth year, so leave it. Plenty of road left for him at this level. Low chop tackle doesn't quite work for Billy Hayes and Black Rock now enjoying a little purple patch in the game as we expected they might. Lots of possession, a little bit more assured in their approach as they go in again to Angelo. Jack O'Neill. Great bust from him just a few moments ago to make it 30, 40 metres up the pitch. Miller. Oh. Crunching tackle. Okay, relax. Forced the knock on. And in fairness, you can see Ross Gray now are starting to take Good a few little gambles, jumping out of the line, trying to make big hits, but this one here pays off. Damn. Just bang in the back. Probably would have, could have been a penalty for being involved being picked up in the from an offside position, but mm. I think Ross Gray would be just to have a scrum now. And there's the changes in your picture. Oscar Duty is in that. Sean Killeen wearing 19. Big hit going into Michael Walsh wearing six for Black Rock. So feels like an important juncture in the game. Just settling down post Niall Smith try. As you say, they can't afford to let this game settle into a rhythm where they're forced to take Black Rock on up front and try and win that battle. They've got to continue to believe and play and take risks. Yeah, absolutely, and look at it. Just, they're going to look for a little bit of turnover possession, you'd imagine. They really spark into light, keep taking risks, ball in hand, keeping that ball alive in contact, throwing the offload. Crouch. As long as this game is a one-score game, they believe. There it is for Aaron Maloney. Powell slings it wide. And using that out. bright sunshine on the far side. Maloney once again and straight up the middle. Two man tackle, Paddy Moore and Dunnaker Maguire that time and back inside. Referee almost got himself involved as Dan Punch is oh, taking the ground. Leave it. Ball is there. Ross Cray maintained possession despite the efforts of Jack O'Neill. With the advantage, Maloney, open country, back in behind. He's measured that yes. perfectly. It's a brilliant kick for Maloney. That's exactly what you should do on, on turnover ball. Look for someone in the backfield who's coming in to hit the ball at pace and see where the options are, see where the space is. And Maloney... Taken back, it was taken back. He may not have had it all his own way, ball in hand, but certainly there he just showed his experience and quality. Something, yeah. Black nine. Black nine. Our Maloney's gonna go off here. Four. Nine. Substitution. John nine Carney seven. wearing number 20 is coming in. <laughs> so going to their bench extensively and quite early in this game. Time is still off. Okay, wait for my whistle. 
That's great. We're lucky there. The ball Four is going to be here. stolen in the air. We're getting our shot out. Time is now on. Time was still off. Back 10. One-handed take by Finn from Nocton's delivery. Good what a charge. charge, good charge. It's brilliant again from the captain, Leave Billy now, Hayes. Pumping those legs, using all Wait. that power, a little bit of support in behind him as well. And, and hold six. Difficult pass to take, and they're having to work a little bit harder just in this last 10 minutes of the game, Ross Gray. Yeah, in fairness, Black Rock, uh, they gave up a lot of yards on that carry from Billy Hayes, but they did slow it down enough to, to get pressure on the kick, and it's hard for Jack Deegan there. He's going back into the pocket against a bit of a breeze. Inso inside the 15. Pollard towards the front. He goes to Donegan Maguire. Again, he doesn't get too far before he's tackled and turned over. Sean Killeen in the middle of things in there, but then it's a Black Rock penalty. Holding on. <coughs> Holding on is the decision on the floor. Yeah, good turnover by Black Rock. The ball had been stripped on him. And Corner. Because of that, the Ross Gray player got isolated. Very good defensive work from Black Rock to, to win that ball back. And now they've got a chance to go into the corner here. You just see it here. It's the ball stripped in contact with a replacement. Sean Killeen, when he just gets isolated. Okay. Not his fault, in fairness. So Pollard almost More. identical position. Again, McGuire is the target. And on they go. That's once. Pollard stopped this time. Numbers there for Ross Same Gray. Ball. It's a good second setup. And on they go now. They break free, driven back. Good tackle by James Miller. Off your feet. Lindner again. Ball is a little bit slower. Through the advantage. hands and spilled forward. No advantage coming. Last forward. Uh, Ross Gray did so well to stop that mall and make Black Rock play away from it. But very draining on him physically. Here's the mark. And again, Black Rock, once they played away from that, I would have expected to to end up with some kind of points, but just this pass just just gets slightly in front of Michael Walsh, big number six. Keep your shoulder on the storm until it's over, okay? Yeah, but you need to stay in. They're on the touch judge. Crouch! Boynes! That's Fionn Carney, who's come in for Set. Aaron Maloney. Hold. Everything needs to be neat and tidy and on the same page here. It's ambitious and it's testing out the pace of the replacement, Brian O'Rourke. Up beyond halfway, thundering tackle, put to ground by the really physical Charlie Maloney, but the support arrives in the pass infield. Ross Cray have got to start taking chances, even half chances from this kind of range. Fashion opportunities, quick ball, knocked it with another good carry, and that's brilliant hands from Miller into Brophy again. Offloading out of the tackle, going backwards. They're trusting their bench, Sean Killeen. Big carry from him, but lovely tackle by Pollard. Got to be careful here, get that ball away. Back get it out cleanly. Ball is in, wait. Carney again, they try and play their way out. That's a little bit over ambitious this time from Deegan. Yeah, that's probably the first mistake he's made. But get the ball into Brian O'Rourke, the replacement from left winger's hands. What speed there. He looked, he actually slowed down to, to make sure he didn't get away from his, his uh, support. But he took on took on his man. How many? And that, that'll fire a warning shot to Black Rock. They need to be careful because. That's a good line out drill. Oh, that's a brilliant take. Super from McGuire. Good. Delivery from Pollard. Oh, they're 
are going to rumble on here and perhaps pick up pace numbers. Don't change 16. Bereft for Set Ross out. Cray. They're still going. Almost inevitably, Billy Hayes is going to be caught by the referee there and Pollard takes it into contact. Penalty advantage pending. Yeah, a really good line out throw. Win at the back. Seven. Changing your mind. Get that drive going and they were just about to box kick off it, but then he got a secondary drive and Ross Gray had to infringe. So line out 10 metres out from the line. He's been good, good Donovan McGuire. Huge pedigree. Back for a second year at senior cup level. Off the bench last year in the final. We've got a ball in the pitch here. Okay, go again. What do we do here? Ross Cray stayed on and try and get set for that ball or contest. Advantage, from advantage. Neither is the option. It's sloppy for the first time in a long time, really, between Pollard and his forward pack. Great job of communication. Still there, though, for Black Rock. Advantage and over for the knock -on. Shipped out by Ungolo. Advantage over there for the scrum half again, and they're loading up on that far side. Black Rock, huge numbers. And they look fresh, full of energy. Taken on by Michael Walsh. Great drive towards that Ross Cray line, and here they come now with Niall Smith again. Sure. Held up again. Yeah. Go over the line, held up. It's unbelievable scramble from, from Ross Gray. Goal line dropout. I fear from when they knocked the ball on the back of the line out. Behind you. But once again, they just Black, work behind. for each other. Yeah, Managed to get underneath the big back rock ball carry. Good carry from Michael Walsh here, and you felt once he had him on the front foot, that was going to be it. But again, underneath Smith, look at the amount of bodies they have it there, and the body position of them. Having to work really hard at this moment in time to stay with Black Rock and Brian O'Flaherty with that style of running that he has. Donica McGuire, different approach, up to the 22, centre of the pitch, options both sides. Jack Angelo is led by example today. Now, is there space out the back? Oh. Play advantage. Playing advantage, and Charlie Maloney will look to take full advantage. So difficult to stop. Ross Cray player could be in trouble when we saw the sanction for O'Shaughnessy in the first half. Not for me. Deliberate knock on. Yeah. Straight away, it is a yellow card. Time is off. On the five. No standing on ceremony for the match referee Sam Holtz, and you felt that Time would be the decision straight away. Yeah, they're badly stretched there. Ferris Blackrock had numbers, had some of the more dangerous attacking players together. Heading down that left wing. Change for Blackrock coming in is uh, Luke Coffey. It's Dan Punch who's going to spend a few minutes in the sin bin for his indiscretion on that far side, and Blackrock will look to take full advantage here. You see it here. Just play the ball out the back. Deegan looked like he was getting caught for pace there. What a player to be able to bring on, Luke Coffey, really talented young man. Captain, just make sure that your jocklers that are coming into the ball are so actually supporting the body weight. Albert Lindner, going either off of Pete Luke Coffey in, in, in his, his place. Okay. James Miller is going to be OK. Water off. And they'll need him very shortly. Interesting to see the option here. Not sure I've heard a call to the referee just yet. 14. Deliberate knock on. Going to try and use this mall again. Thought they might go for a top penalty with the likes of Niall Smith and Paddy Moore around. This is you. That's the five, is the middle. Off the five, please. Step off the So taken by Tommy Butler. Inside the five. That's once. That's yeah, good initially from Ross Don't Gray. change 19. Don't change. They need to drive them towards the touchline if they can, but they're peeling around the front. Where's the ball in the middle of all that? Leaving now. Ball is available. Ball is there for Black Rock somehow. I thought I heard a cry. A ball had been stolen, but it hadn't. It was taken on then by Smith. 
Coffey now, first chance to get involved. Brophy comes out to make the tackle and they go again with Jack O'Neill. Brilliant presentation, Coffey now with lots of big battering rams. They go for the line, that must be a try. Black Rock get their right, second great. try of the second half and they open up a little bit of space and it's a familiar pattern, a familiar try score. It's that man again, Niall Smith. Yeah, in fairness, they've gone back to Pan A, which is bully. And once again, this kind of position here, just really good forward, forward carriers. Jack O'Neill so powerful, but this man, Niall Smith, he's been held up once, but he's got over twice, and he's the one who does the damage. Ross created very well to stop that mall initially, and I think Sean Killeen, he got through the middle of it and actually made um, Black Rock play away, but nearly 20 he kind of felt they needed to get a, a turnover at the mall time because that power game from Black Rock was going to be too much. This time, no mistake, up go the flags of the assistant referees, and it's the full complement of seven points. 15 points to three, 54th minute of the game, and Ross Cray down to 14. And suddenly, Black Rock are breathing a good deal easier. The pendulum as well and truly swung in favour of Black Rock. Important to stop that man at the first time of asking Brian O'Flaherty. McGuire Carried sets back. it up. Wait now. Hold on. Drop in here for Finlay. They need something. Pretty soon you feel Ross Cray just to get their momentum back and their belief back in this game. And they don't lack creativity and endeavour nor confidence indeed O'Rourke looks very very lively you can see why Cistercian College have trusted their bench in this second half Corney gets them moving forward again slow ball though for the replacement scrum half Blackrock well set defensively they go flat on the body not the ball Oscar Doody leaves it for Fionn Corney Available is Henry Marr and others. Good hands again from Deegan. And a big, powerful hit as he came together with Derry Maloney. That's a Black Rock turnover. Brilliant over the ball. Holding. Super position in the jackal. Just be careful where you put your hand. Mark Walsh again, the one who gets it. But again, from the counter attack, lovely play yep. from Kearney and, and Brian O'Rourke just to get himself. But Black Rock went quickly here. Almost all on his own, and Killeen again, brilliant block down, brilliant hands, pops his pass away as their support there for Brophy. <coughs> Use it now. Shocknessy all on his own and just tried to chip one over the top. It was brilliant from Sean Killeen to stop it, and there he is in the thick of the action again. He's been superb since coming in. Yeah, but now just with a little bit of fatigue, just that first arrivers, it's half a second later than they were in the first half, and Black Rock are getting some, yeah, some change out of the breakdown. What a piece of defence from Sean Killeen, and then just the audacity, just one hand in contact, little offload over the top. Calder Rossgrave, buddies down now, get the treatment. They put in a huge effort, starting to tell, I think. I'd say, but another... Yeah, energy stopping stuff on the defensive, minutes, absorbing minutes. all that mole pressure. Psychological pressure of play to... The lion's share of the second half in your own half of the field. There it is again from Killeen. It's almost, that's ridiculous. They just need to ha something to happen. Pretty quickly, you feel, to give themselves the encouragement that they can find a couple of scores. <coughs> Any reward that they do have, of course, will come with a risk of its own, but knockout rugby quarter final time they won't get another chance they've got to leave it all out there throw caution to the wind captain it's the same thing you asked me about no point in dying wondering and they certainly didn't do that in the first half and we did yeah. say look there was a couple of guilt-edged opportunities where you feel at this level against the likes I'm of black them, rock seriously. and st michael's they don't cough off too many chances and you've nearly always got to score to go? a couple of tries two or three tries to beat them yeah 100 percent. and they had a couple of chances in the, in the first Hold half I did, just didn't manage to capitalise on it, mainly down to some really good scramble from, from Black Rock. But the only thing from a Ross Grey point of view is, you know, 
only a couple of weeks ago they did come back from from behind and it had that little bit of sense of sense of belief but at the moment black rock just don't look like they're going to fold look, starting to look more composed now and more organized than they were the first 15 really? minutes you wonder where the ross cray lads watching terra Nure yesterday who looked like they were beaten against St. Michael's, found a couple of tries in quick succession. The same really against Belvedere and Gonzaga 24 hours previous. You just never know in this competition. Momentum is huge. Seems to be with Black Rock. Oh, that's beautiful from O'Shaughnessy. Got his pass away to Butler as well. Lovely from the fly half in. Heavy, heavy traffic showing deft hands and brilliant footwork. Maloney, lovely to watch. Numbers outside, didn't need them. And that Ross surely wow. knocked on. Goal oh, it's line been uh, goal line dropout. <laughs> Ross Gray survived. Everyone yeah. can sit back down again. Goal line drop, knocked Need on. Need a team goal. over that, but no, look, that was brilliant. Referee was in a great position, as was his, his assistant referee. But oh, a lovely attack from Black Rock. Started with a shot to see, just getting into that heart of that blitz defence. Lovely offload, and then they go to space and watch. Looked like he was going to score. So not done yet, perhaps. Everybody back on their guard, though. Forward comes Angelo. Miles Smith, who's on a hat-trick. Uh, space is beginning to appear and open up. Brilliant tackle. Billy Hayes. Maloney, so dangerous, so elusive, and he's strong as well. Finn had to stop him. Blackrock full of energy and full of power. And having been denied only seconds ago with that Mark Walsh knock on, Jack O'Neill comes up with a moment that surely will say to Blackrock that they have done enough now. Yeah, he's looked so explosive, hasn't he? He made a big line break in the first half, but all his carries are, are dangerous. Just here, it's Maloney's the one who makes the initial dent. Joe Finn makes the tackle, but from here, they just don't get a pillar in place quick enough. And then when they do, two men go high and he just rips his way out of contact and scores. Two tries in the space of six minutes. Yeah, just Ross Greer starting to look a little bit tired and not getting around the corner as quickly as they, they had been defensively. And in fairness to Black Rock, they're finishing really strong. Over 10. Look really fit, really powerful. Good looking strike, plenty of conviction and belief behind that, low and hard through the breeze. This is the Mark Walsh effort a moment ago. Yeah, a little dummy and then... <laughs> Fair my first thought, view, I thought he got it down, but we're about 60 metres from it. Referee was only four or five, so trust his judgment. What a take, take. Joe Finn. Brilliant take. Lost forward in the ground. Just those fine margins. Initially, it was athletic and brilliant. He's had a super game. Take, take a second. 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 Just take a second. Yeah, just as he's trying to place the ball, it just gets a little knock. Jeff Wall is in for Black Rock and further changes for Sorry. Ross Cray. Your players lost control of it on the ground and then regathered. Last chance saloon, kitchen sink time, etc. Ten blood minutes to, to go. Get rid of the blood, yeah. Time's Michael up. Walsh is the player to go off in that back row uh, switch for Black Rock. Probably got at least about nine minutes. At least it's nine minutes, says the referee. Up. So. Well, you just keep an eye on the mark there, Reese. Cheers. I know a lot of these players are already in the, the representative system, but if you were a talent spotter from one of the provinces, you'd be very excited about getting the hands of some of these players next year when they when they leave school. Even, you know, there's been a tradition in the past of Connacht being very closely attached to some of these Connacht players or Ross Gray players, and you know, certainly 
the likes of Captain Billy Hayes tonight, Joe Finn, Robert Carney, Jack Deegan have been excellent, haven't they? Even historically speaking, Gavin Duffy was Ross Cray, fullback for Connacht, Tiernan O'Halloran was there as well, more recently Sean O'Brien. That's that kind of connection that they have. Here's the mark. Just lost forward. Yes, the Ireland under 18s and under 19 squads got together at Christmas time for a couple of days. They will do as well under 18s ahead of uh, Six Nations Crouch. Festival in March and April. The under 19s will play Boys. France and Wales a little bit later than in April. And just looking through some of the talent Set. available Hold to the likes of Neil Doke and Kieran Hallett, Andrew Brown. It's uh, future is very, very bright as it always is. Careful now, careful. We've got to get him to grind safely. A little bit quicker than that. You have taken him beyond the horizontal. It's just a penalty. Be very careful. He has gone beyond the horizontal. Yeah, be very careful. Ten taking the player beyond the horizontal. Just a penalty, nothing more. No shock need to get us back underway. Again, it's an unbelievable tackle there from, from Billy Hayes because. Angelo is so powerful off the back okay. of the scrum and not many teams can actually stop him, never mind be able to stop him dead and hold him up, and pick him up like that. Good contest Play again on. and no clear, knock on. has that going forward off a Ross Cray hand after they turned it over, referee didn't see one clear. There again for Evan Brophy. Advantage knock on by seven, blue. Knock on advantage for Ross Cray now. Over. They need something now quickly. Oh, that's brilliant. And then it's just Play spilled. The they look to get their hands free. Advantage over for the initial knock on, so it's okay for Charlie Maloney to put here. one downfield. Kick chase is on. The pitch is going to beat everyone. Really good carry, wasn't it, from Robert Carney? pump his legs in contact. Um, They've only got 10 metres more than he thought he was going to get, but just that ball came free, but he's getting a bit of treatment now in the backfield. So. That's one of the positives for Ross Cray. We're not writing them off just yet, but uh, it's good sprinkling of fourth-year and fifth-year talent in their squad, so plenty still to come. Mark Butler in there as director of rugby, Stephen Carey in his first year in full charge. Fair ball, kick went dead. Just hold the mark. It's Brian Walsh who's ready to come in for Black Rock. Charlie Maloney who kicked that ball downfield, one of those Ireland under 18s squad members, showing his talent again this afternoon. And virtually every team has a fullback, it seems like that. You think back to the the three or four we've seen already this week, David Lucy and others. Okay. Okay. Just make sure you're back two meters, okay? In the tango channel. Up. Oh. <coughs> Haven't scored since the 14th Crouch. minute, and that Jack Deegan penalty. And I'd love to get a try here. Set. Even if it turned out to be nothing more than a consolation, but to give themselves a fighting chance going into the last five minutes. And certainly their overall players deserve that and more. Corney looks to get them firing again. It's had a huge game, Evan Brophy. It's a little bit loose, no knock on. And now to the outside, they go to O'Rourke. He's shown great pace. He's elusive, difficult to bring down. Blackrock can't quite do that. And Billy Hayes. A little bit of fatigue now in Ross Cray there. Norton back against the green. Is that the right option? Do they have numbers? Deegan takes it on again. Big tackle. Maloney in there. Carney looks to recycle quickly. They need to bring a little bit of tempo. The hands are still good. Killeen. Angelo endeavouring to turn it over. Part of four Ross Cray players in the centre of the pitch. Chief amongst those, Henry Marr. 
Back for it. Off the foot. Try that little inside pass, a little bit of disguise. Blackrock read it well and will just quite happy now. Five minutes or thereabouts to clear their lines. That's a really, really, really good kick. Brilliant kick. Obviously, after that turnover, the backfield was open. He just drills it long left. Number 10, Black. That's a long trudge back there now for some of those Ross Cray players to see all that momentum taken away from them. Time is off, okay? Fourteen. Full bench gets That's a run. Disappointing afternoon. You can see it etched on the face of the Ross Cray players now. These final couple of changes. Get, get them on you. Tough afternoon for One Josh second, Powell, five, talented five, player. Five, Brilliant five, hurler five, by all accounts as well. Tommy Dunn, the ex all star and temporary captain from Two Mivar, has gone in as the director of hurling at Ross Cray. It's a big part of their repertoire as well. Clean. Back. They won't give up, they won't stop fighting for every inch and yard. Don't collapse this. That's down by Black. Blackrock get the ball, ball back. Yeah, the they've they finished the game strongly. Their yeah. bench has been powerful. Yeah, and as the game's Seven gone on, they look more comfortable defensively, Seven haven't they? Blue. You know, they de de dealt with the, the power of the likes of Billy Hayes there. They're not able to stop them on the game line, but they get in around the ball and managed to hold it up. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Here's a mark. turned out to be a good afternoon, a good second half certainly for Justin Vanstone on his Blackrock side. Two tries from Niall Smith and that effort from Jack O'Neill, really the clincher, two tries in six and a half minutes or thereabouts after they were denied that effort by Mark Walsh. Lots to work on, lots to take through to a semi-final in a couple of weeks' time. Who will it be against? Michaels and Gonzaga already there. CBC Monkstown against St Mary's from 2.45 tomorrow, live on Premier Sports. It's Caleb Fleetwood and okay, Colonel Little get a run out for the last three or four minutes or so. Straight into action. Where are they? Here for Mark. Wait for my calls. Crouch. Binds. Set. Blackrock penalty. Loose head. Well, I remember for 52 minutes of this game, 70 minute Sorry. contest, it was yep. a real match. Post calls. One point game. Ross Gray uh, down to 14 then with that unfortunate yellow card for time, Dan yeah. Punch. But well, that was symptomatic of Blackrock's pressure at the time. If he takes the full time, that's if he takes the full this time. This might be the last moment. piece of action. <coughs> Cheers. If he takes the full time, yeah. Ten seconds. Using up all his time, that's a lovely strike. Cultured, accomplished. Style of Conor O'Shaughnessy. And there is the final whistle. Sam Holt blows the whistle to indicate full time, and it's Blackrock College, the 70 times previous winners of the Leinster Senior Cup that advanced.